Okay, what we've got, according to the AP story, is we've got space junk on 5,800 mile per hour collision course with the moon. Now it says here, Cape Canaveral, Florida, AP, the moon is about to get walloped by three tons of space junk, a punch that will carve out a crater that could fit several semi-tractor trailers. The leftover rocket will smash into the far side of the moon at 5,800 miles per hour on Friday, away from telescopes prying eyes. It may take weeks, even months, to confirm the impact through satellite images. It's been tumbling haphazardly through space, experts believe, since China launched it nearly a decade ago, but Chinese officials are dubious it's theirs. No matter whose it is, scientists expect the object to carve out a hole 33 feet to 66 feet, that's 10 to 20 meters across, and send moon dust flying hundreds of miles across the barren, pockmarked surface. Low orbiting space junk is relatively easy to track. Objects launching deeper into space are unlikely to hit anything and these far-flung pieces are usually soon forgotten, except by a handful of observers who enjoy playing celestial detective on the side. SpaceX originally took the rap for the upcoming lunar litter after asteroid tracker Bill Gray identified the collision course in January. He corrected himself a month later, saying that the mystery object is not a SpaceX Falcon rocket upper stage from a 2015 launch of a Deep Space Climate Observatory for NASA. Gray said it is likely the third stage of a Chinese rocket that sent a test sample capsule Earth to the moon and back in 2014. Uh, that was back in 2014. But Chinese ministry officials say the upper stage had entered Earth's atmosphere and burned up. So the Chinese say, no, it's not, it's not theirs, which pretty much confirms that it is, because, you know, you got to consider the source. That's editorial. But there were two Chinese missions with similar designations. The test flight in the 2020's lunar sample return mission and U.S. observers believe there are two, the two are getting mixed up. The U.S. Space Command, which tracks lower space junk, confirmed Tuesday that the Chinese upper stage from the 2014 lunar, message, lunar mission never deorbited, as previously indicated in its database. But it could not confirm the country of origin for the object about to strike the moon. We focus on objects closer to Earth, the spokesman said in a statement. Gary, a mathematician and physicist, said he's confident now that it's China's rocket. I've become a little more cautious of such matters, he said, but I really don't see any way it could be anything else. So, you know, I guess there is the slim possibility that the Chinese are right and it's not something from anyone here on Earth. I suppose it's possible that it's a UFO about to crash into the moon, although probably not highly likely. Jonathan McDowell of Harvard and the Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics supports Gray's revised assessment, but notes the effect will be the same. It'll leave yet another small crater on the moon. The moon already bears countless craters ranging up to 1,600 miles. With little to no real atmosphere, the moon is defenseless against the constant barrage of meteors and asteroids and the occasional incoming spacecraft, including a few intentionally crashed for science's sake. With no weather, there's no erosion, so the impact craters will last forever. China has a lunar lander on the moon's far side, but it will be too far away to detect Friday's impact just north of the equator. NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter will also be out of range. It's unlikely that, the, that India's moon orbiting, I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of this, uh, will be passing by then either. Uh, after initially pinning the upcoming strike on Elon Musk's SpaceX, Gray took another look 
after an engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory questioned his claim. Now he's pretty thoroughly persuaded it's a Chinese rocket part based on an orbital tracking back to its 2014 liftoff, but also received data from its short-lived ham radio equipment. JPL's Center for Near-Earth Objects Studies endorses Gray's reassessment. A University of Arizona team also recently identified the Chinese Long March rocket segment from the light reflected off its paint during telescope observations of the careening cylinder. It's about 40 feet, 12 meters long, and 10 feet, 3 meters in diameter, and doing a somersault every 2 to 3 minutes. Gray and SpaceX never contacted him to challenge his original, original claim. Neither have the Chinese. It's not a SpaceX problem, nor is it a China problem. Nobody is particularly careful about what they do uh, with junk at this sort of orbit. Tracking deep space mission leftovers is hard, according to McDowell. All right, well, that's the story of the dark side of the moon and the, the impact that's going to be happening tomorrow. So you heard it here first, if you didn't already hear it someplace else first. Just that crescent. That's all you're going to get. Best I can do. And uh, that, essentially, that you can't see there, is the dark side of the moon. And that is where the impact is going to be tomorrow. There's going to be a spacecraft hitting the moon tomorrow. And it comes from China. about all you're going to